Hello friends and fans, we are back with a new game, Construction Simulator, dropped this week just a few days ago. I've been keeping my eye on this one and it suddenly appeared in the Steam store, so I snatched it up as quick as possible because we are about to get down and dirty with some diggers. So let's jump straight in. I have had about, I'd say, an hour's worth of gameplay just to familiarise myself with the uh, the game itself. So let's start a new profile. We can pick a, uh, a new character. Any of these look good, although I am kind of tempted to fly right to the end here and uh, pick what looks to me like an Asian Ryan Gosling. So yeah, he's the guy for me. Let's click accept here. I'm using a standard controller. I feel like that perhaps is the best way forward just initially. I do have my Logitech steering wheel, which I could hook up later, but actually with all the different diggers and cranes that are gonna require, in effect, two analog sticks, the, uh, the controller feels like the best way forward. So let's have a look at the hat. We can change things like base color, PPE color, a different type of helmet, and uh, yeah, then we can add a name. So let me go and create my character and then uh, we can get playing. So there we are, there is my character, Crimson Banshee. That's me, ladies and gentlemen. And look at that tasty, tasty hat. I've got all these stickers and decals on there. I've got my uh, ear defenders and my, uh, my nice eye safety gear there. So I am fully PPE'd and ready to get rocking. Let's jump straight in then. So we're going to start our own game right from the beginning just to give everyone a bit of an oversight of how this starts. Now, once you've completed the first uh, contract, the first campaign, that does then unlock multiplayer and I am very keen to play a bit of multiplayer. I may well bring in my dear friend Demo Darv, who actually is a demolitions expert and drives big heavy machinery. So I want to see if this game is absolutely on par with the real world out there. But for now, let's start our own game. We're going to create a new company. We're going to base ourselves in Europe, I think. Yeah, that feels about right. Now, given that my day job is branding and design, I... Uh, I do know a thing or two about iconography and logos and it's important to choose something which truly represents and reflects your brand, your values and your positioning. So I think I'm going to go for the digger, which kind of represents the kind of heavy lifting side of this company. I think there's going to be a lot of that in this game, unlike maybe the uh, hammer and screw, which kind of more represents like carpentry work, perhaps, or even something with a spanner, which is a bit more like maybe a plumber you know, uh, ruler and pencil, that's more architecture. So no, we don't want any of that. We're going to go full on hardcore with a nice digger there. And um, we need to give our company a name. I think something like, uh, let's go for Crimson Skies Inc. Crimson Skies Incorporated. I like that. Let's accept and move on. Right. Here we go, so there you can see we can create a multiplayer game, but we need a company which has completed the opening campaign. So we're just gonna start our single player now, and here we go. Right, so we are starting right at the beginning. A Little bit of text there to give us a bit of background, a bit of exposition into our position. Camera is nicely panning around, and we can see ourselves ready to get going. Now, why I would be stood out at the side of my house in what looks like a pretty severe storm, I have no idea, but I am obviously keen to do some work, keen to be helpful to my community. So, yep, yeah, let's uh, let's get going. We're going to hit the, uh, the A button here, and then we'll see what our first challenge is. So, we have a tutorial. These standard stuff, can you move the camera around? Let's waz that around, step forward, do a bit of walking get used to the controls okay so that's the standard dual stick motion let's hold the right trigger we can run and we now need to go and speak with harpe or hape depending on how you might look at that word and pronounce it so he's down here let's have a wander down here my character does have a rather camp run about him but you know each to their own he's getting a shift on and there he is Finally, there you are. I hope you haven't forgotten me. 
Well, if you want me to jog your memory, it's me, Hopper. I always knew you'd become a real construction ace someday. Now is your chance to prove it, because I urgently need your help. So let's get moving. There was a bad storm last night, and it left a ton of damage in its path. There's been a landslide at the bridge coming into the village. It also knocked down a utility pole, and many parts of the village lost power. Right, well you can watch that in your own time viewers, I'm skipping past that, I have seen that um, before. So we're going to enter our flatbed truck over here, this nice beast of a vehicle. Yes, look at that. Do you like a nice bit of machinery? Do you like a nice truck? I'm not a big fan of MAN, to be honest, as a brand. I prefer Scania, much prefer Volvo. But hey ho, that's what we got, so let's jump on board. Okay, so we've got various things that we can do once we're in a vehicle. So on my controller here, I'm going to hit the X key and we have this kind of uh, interface that pops up. So we can do things like turn our lights on, we've got headlights, we've got our beacons, we've got warning lights, our hazards, and then obviously we can turn everything off. So I'm going to turn on my headlights. I'm then going to go back and turn on my beacons just for a laugh. Let's just have a look. Yes, that looks pretty tasty to me. And then while we're in that menu, there are other things we can do, like opening and closing our sideboards, changing our mode so we can use the crane. But for now, let's just get the camera back in position and then let's get moving. Right, so we need to head over to, where are we going? To the, uh, looking at my top left here whilst driving, the landslide at, uh, I don't know where it is, in the road, I think. So we're just going to follow the road markers. You can see this, what looks like a flying arrow. That's given me some form of GPS guidance. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Highly recommend not driving like a maniac. Right, we are back underway. Let me just hit X and go to interior view. That might be a bit safer. Uh, yes. Steady, steady, steady. I haven't yet worked out the controls for things like indicators, uh, but I will do that at some point. Know where the horn is though. Get a move on. No one stops for red lights here. Finally, right. I think what we'll do is I'm actually going to continue on. I'm going to ignore. Uh, I'm going to ignore the map there, the bottom left, which said to do a right. There is debris all over the road, and he thinks the storm is finished. Pretty sure it's still going on, old Harpe. Easy, easy, easy. There's a log there. Ah, and now that looks like a big loader. Not a JCB, it's a cat. Beautiful, right, I'll just park myself here. There we go, there's the marker, and we're in. Right then, Ryan, let's uh, go and put the uh, generator on. And then we can shed some light on the situation. Heading over, turning on the generator. Wow, sticking my arm actually inside the generator. Oh, okay, safety first. And there we are, we have a nice cat. You, that's a bit of a beast. I'm fairly certain that's similar to the one that Dusty drove on my FS22 survival series. Someone quote me down that in the comments. That was a beast. Right, let's head over there. Get a jog on. Let's give this a go. So, whenever we jump into a new vehicle for the first time, not just in the tutorial, but later on in the game, you're going to find this manual pop up, giving you a little bit of information about each thing. So this is telling us that it's a wheel loader. Uh, gives us generally the, con the controls using the right stick, so on and so forth, oh, unloading bulk, how to flatten things down. So it's useful if you're not quite sure for the first time. Uh, I suspect this would probably get a bit tedious once you know what you're doing, but useful to know. So we're going to jump back out of this. We need to go over there where that marker is and flatten down the ground. I'm just going to adjust my camera. Okay, actually no, I want to put that over there. So the one thing I find slightly frustrating about this game already is the way the camera works. I want control over the camera constantly, but I have to. Uh, you have to click the um, the left stick here to give you access to the camera to fly around. And then you leave it a couple of seconds, or you click it again, 
and it automatically clicks back to a fixed view. That's good in a way because it gives you full control over both sticks for controlling the vehicle, controlling diggers, but sometimes you want a bit of a uh, bit of control. But okay, for now, let's just get this out of the way. So we're gonna eat into here. There we go. Oh yes, we've got a full bucket load there. So we can tip that up and head backwards. And we need to tip this, get looking at the marker slightly to the left. There we go. Steady, 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 steady. There we go. Right. Um, I just need to reverse my controls at some point as well. I prefer to have the correct control set up so that when you push the stick forward, that gives you either length on your boom or it pushes the, uh, the the item up. So it kind of inverts the stick. How the game is set up now is if I press up, then the arm will go up. I prefer it to be the other way around. But I'll do that shortly for now. Let's continue with the tutorial. Right, I've just jumped inside the cam just for a bit of in-cam view. Have we got some lights on? There we go. Now we can see what we're doing. So let's just drop this down, get the bucket angled a bit steady and then let's go and try and pick up this lot here really charging at it like a ball there I think potentially we could grab a bit more but let's start with that hard to see where I'm reversing I don't appear to have any access to mirrors I do but they're very much out on the side and I don't think they actually do anything never mind so let's drop that in there Lift that up. Tip. Beautiful. Right, I'll get this lot cleared away and then we'll move on to the next part of the challenge. Okay, I've just completed that first challenge and yeah, the road is now clear and open. I suspect these people are a bit cheesed off that I've parked right in the middle of the road, but they can just wait. One thing I just want to show you quickly is that there are collectibles as you go round the various maps. I've just discovered one here. It's Glowing Hammer. Let's see what this is. I found a collectible. One of a hundred. Now, I'm not entirely sure what that means. Uh, whether there's a bonus, we'll no doubt find out what that involves later on. But for now, I need to enter the truck and then drop off the generator, which is on the back at, I think it was the supermarket. Yeah, we're heading to the supermarket now. On to our next job. Well, that's not too bad. We are here, literally just down the road. So I'm going to park in this space. Let's just go back to exterior camera mode. I need to uh, macro the button to that somewhere because going through that interface is a bit laborious. But we'll do that later. There we go. We are in. Use the context menu to move the flatbed truck in function mode. Okay, so again, let's go up to function mode. That should then, yeah, pop our arms out. Get the jibs out get those lowered right so now we are about to use the crane for the first time we get to go through the manual well I've already got a good idea how this works so let me just sort my camera out so what happens is you have this small circle which kind of gives you a view of where the hook is directly over the ground so let me just extend the boom here let's get that one out and start to get that positioned round there we go, and then you'll see when that goes green, that means we are ready to hook on. Now, I can just hit the A button there, and that will latch me on. There we go. So now I need to lift this up carefully and get that positioned immediately over there. So I'm just going to extend my boom a little and slowly lift that one up, because it will want to swing towards us as we lift it out. And then what we'll do is we'll slowly bring that over. Come down as we go. There we go, and we'll just then extend the boom out a bit more into position. I like to get it fairly accurate. Let's, uh, you know, we're playing a, uh, a simulation, so let's make this as real as possible. There we go, and release. Job done. So I'm just going to exit the vehicle here. I'm going to step around. I've just realised I've got my ear defenders on. I really don't need those on. Let's go into take those off. I probably don't need my eye protection on at the minute either. There we go. 
And let's go turn the uh, generator on. Let's go stick my arm directly into the electronics. Done. So now the supermarket has power. The frozen goods are going to stay frozen. We are helping our community. It all feels very good. Right, going to go speak to Harpe again. We'll skip past that. You guys can experience that yourself for the first time. And then we'll get on with the next job. Okay, so we have a bit of an issue here. We have a, uh, yes, we have a light, what is that, a lamppost. A lamppost has fallen on top of the supermarket, so we need to get that moved. Now, there's a tower crane up there, which has been used in the uh, construction yard just around the corner. So I'm going to run myself over there, get up to the top of that tower, and get that moved. And there we go, we are right at the top. This is not something I think I would ever be able to do in real life. I'm not a big fan of heights. Um, I think once I'm up there, I'd be fine. But going up that ladder, no, thank you very much. If anyone out there has actually uh, been up a tower crane, do let me know in the comments what it's like. So we're going to swing this around. That's quite rapid, I must admit. Right, we can just about see if I move the camera around. Right down there is where our kind of target reticle is so let's drop the uh, crane here let's drop the actual hook just in camera mode at the moment let's get rid of that there we go so we can drop ourselves down apologies for anyone out there if i'm using the wrong terminology i'm sure i'm going to get told off at some point but it's all part of the learning experience I do have a whole family in construction, so I am actually fairly au fait with most things, but not necessarily big construction. Um, I was a carpenter myself back in the day. My dad's a carpenter, my uncles are carpenters and plumbers. Brother's a plasterer, my other brother is a plumber, all by trade. Right, I've just realised I'm aiming down there, but actually we can see the floating... O shape on the screen that's actually where I need to get the hook um, so let me just reposition myself I'm gonna kind of do this by eye don't think it's gonna be that easy steady 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 yeah I'm gonna have to move the camera somewhat right let's bring that round to about there and then bring it up potentially bring it back a bit hard to really see that's it, in a 3D space where I am. Okay, so let's come up a bit there. There we go, right, we're on. That's it, we got it, and right. So we are now hooked onto, as you can see, the lamppost. So let's very carefully pick that up. Right, that's probably enough. So then we can bring this back. And then swing very carefully over. Very careful. Gentle touches. Like flying a plane. Very gentle. Right, then we can we can swivel this, I think, by holding B. Yep, left stick. So we, we've got control over 360 degrees of spin, as you can see there. Let's get that roughly in place. And then we should be able to just lower this down. A bit jerkily. Steady, steady, steady. And we are there. Great job. Got there in the end. Right, let's get back in our truck. We'll get the uh, the boom all collapsed back up again. Now, there is a quick way of doing this. You can go to the menu. I'll show you that in a minute. But I actually kind of like the realism of doing this myself. Get everything folded in there like that. Cha-ching. So what you can do is you can go up to the menu, just hit reset. And that puts it in place, that's fine, it's just a bit cheaty. And then I can change the driver mode back. There we go, get our arms in, and then we can drive off. Right, next thing is to go to the builder's merchants by the looks of it. I'll see you there. Right, and we're off. Two hundred meters to go. And the storm is easing off. The wind is still there, but it's not too bad. Right, let's break ahead of time this time. 
Because this has got some grunt. Here we go. Aha. Right, let's uh, get ourselves lined up. I've got a feeling we've got some um, forklift action coming up. And as we know, again, from my farming simulator series, I am a dab hand with a forklift. So those are the two pallets we need to load on the back. So what we can do is we could use our arm, we could use the boom here and lift that on the back. But I don't think that's what we want to do. So from this position I'm going to lower the sideboards here. We can do this manually from outside the vehicle. So we're going to get Ryan to uh, jump into the forklift. There we go, obligatory manufacturer's guidelines on how to use this vehicle. Let's forget about that for the minute. Okay, I feel like we need some lights. We are... Yes, we are underway. Let's go beacons, lights on. Right, let's just change the camera a bit. Three quarter angle's good. Right, we can't change the width of the actual forks themselves, but we've got our lean, we've got up and down. Right, so let's pick this one up. Steady, steady, steady. Let's get right down there. There we go, we are in. And then we hit A to lock that into position. Let's reverse ourselves back. Right, let's get that up. Pretty rapid. So there's a little battery powered uh, steel forklift here. Right, there we go. As soon as we see that, if we come down a bit, it goes green. That's in effect telling us that we're there. We can drop that off. And then we'll go pick up the other one. We'll do the other one in an interior view. Let's give ourselves a bit of a challenge. Drop that down. Right to the floor. Oh, steady, steady, steady. It's got some serious acceleration on it, this thing. Right, we are there. Let's get that back a bit. Let's go high so we can see. Steady. Uh, right, let's get round. We'll pop that next to the other one. There we go. Let's get that lint forward and down. And we're on. So we can back ourselves out. There we go. Right, we'll turn the lights off. Get the forks down. Leave that there. There we go. Good, good job there, Asian Goslin. Nice one. And then we can put the sides up while we're here. Gonna flap our arm in a kind of royal wave kind of way. And magic happens, there we go. The sideboards are closed. I would have liked to have seen an, an animation there for that. I can't imagine that would have been too difficult, but we can only work with what we've got, ladies and gentlemen. Right, let's get this back to, where are we going back to? Ah, back to the supermarket to repair the roof. Okay, so this time we are going to park ourselves up where we think is about appropriate. Let's uh, get ourselves set up to get the boom out. So let's get ourselves extended. Don't need to go too high because we're only picking that one up. Right, so... Terrible camera angle again. Right, that will do. So let's get that swung over. Wrong way. So we want to extend the boom there. May need to adjust the camera a little. That wants to go pretty much over to there. Slowly drop that down into position. Now I wonder if we've got control. We do over rotation. So for the sake of accuracy, we want to drop that just there. Look at that. Perfect them all. Done. Right, so boom in. Steady, steady, steady. And bosh. Right, so that's the next one. Let's get this lifted. We want to place that immediately to the side of the other one. Nice work. Slowly, slowly. 
Right, we're going to rotate that ever so slightly. There we go. And then bring this down. There we go. So that's another job done. Brilliant work. Right, we have just been asked to go and help at a scene of a crime. Well, I say crime. A scene of an accident at the very least. Someone has driven into a ditch. I think they were replacing either a gas main or a water main. So we need to go over there, use the arm on the back of our truck here, lift that car up. Wow, that is a nice car. Is that a McLaren? Quite possibly. Anyway, I digress. Yes, we're going to go help out. So we'll be there shortly. Short journey down the road. And then, uh, yeah, let's get this car lifted out get things back to how they should be. Well, as I'm driving along here, you'll see in the bottom right hand corner, we've got our kind of vehicle HUD, which is obviously giving us speed in kilometers per hour. Um, I prefer miles, but I don't think I can change that. I'll have to check in the settings. Underneath that, we have our fuel gauge in blue, and then we have our state of repair in green. Um, as we uh, use the vehicle, obviously it needs maintenance and repair. I'm not sure if it can pick up damage. The way I've been driving, whacking into stuff, you'd expect that to be at least halfway by now. Um, so I'm not sure that it makes a difference, but it's just good to keep an eye on those things. We will need to pick up some fuel at some point, I would expect. Right, let's get into position. There we go. So there we go. Some idiot has driven off the road and into the ditch. That car is a write-off. We have the police on the scene, you know what I mean. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, we have power back in the uh, in the village. That's good news. Okay, let's go and get this uh, vehicle out and uh, over to the scrapyard. Okay, let's get the uh, arm out again. Don't need to go fully extended here because we are kind of below our our distance. Let's get the arm extended. That wasn't too bad. First time. Right, so let's lift very carefully. It's got all the power we need, this thing. And let's just slowly bring the arm in. Bring things around. There we go. Right, so we're not quite over. What we're going to have to do is go higher with this. Bring the bottom up and then start to pull that down so it kind of knuckles itself backwards. There we go. And then we can just leave that to drop down. And that is a brilliant job. Well done, me. So let's just get the arm put away nice and tight. Oh, no, we need to get the pipe. I didn't see that. Aha. So there's a pipe down there as well. Let's have a look. Oh, yes. Okay, so that's fine. We can do that as well. Let's get ourselves in position. Let's get the uh, the arm down. All the way down. Pick that old piece of pipe up. And I suspect we are going to have to use the excavator shortly to, uh, to dig ourselves a bit more space and repair perhaps that pipe. There we are. We're almost there. There we go. So we've got that piece of pipe. Strange camera angle, but that will bring itself round. And there we go, we're in. So let's just chuck that in there. Good enough. Okay, so we can now drop these off at the scrapyard. Let me just reset myself. No, Ryan, get back in. Reset myself. There we go. And then we can set drive mode. And then we can get going. Okay, I've just dropped off the car and the old piece of pipe at the scrapyard and picked up a new piece of pipe, which we're going to take back to the hole in the road. Bit of GTA action here. That's how I drive. No messing. And then we'll get this piece of pipe in. I think it's time to do some excavating. Oh, yes. That is how to park. 
Right, we'll jump in the old excavator here. Yep. Goody, goody. Let's just get the camera adjusted. So we need to dig that hole and put the uh, the soil, the earth, the dirt, whatever you want to call it, on that big pile. Right, let me get the camera adjusted. Bit easier that way. I would prefer cab view, but the arm is directly in front of the cab and you can't see a thing. Let me just show you. Uh, let's go internal. There we go. Ah, no, it is actually slightly to the side here. That might be a bit easier. JCBs have the ability to adjust left and right. Um, no, you know what? I'm going to do this external so we can all see what's actually going on. I think that's a nice of you. Okay, right, so. Uh, approximately there. Let's get everything out. Right, so it appears... Yeah, I do need to adjust the controls. I really want to invert them. So this is not necessarily going to be the cleanest drive, I must admit. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's get that in there. Bucket is full. So again, if you look down at the bottom right-hand corner where we've got the HUD, what's going on here? I'm stuck on something. Oh, I'm under the pipe. <laughs> that is not good news. Right, let's get that out. No, that's not good news at all. I am well and truly stuck. Okay, uh, Ryan Gosling here has managed to dig the hole as required. Oh, steady on now, Ryan. And that is where we need to place the pipe. So we need to jump back in, use the crane again, and get that pipe loaded on. Now, we've seen me do that in action, so I'll whiz past that so you don't have to watch the same thing over again. And then I think we'll see what's next on our list of jobs for the day. Well, that is a good job done. There we go. Nice, tidy pipe. Let's slip down here, do a bit of inspection. Yep, we'll have to do the stand inspection, which is where you stand on the pipe to make sure the pipe is happy. If a pipe can be stood on, then it absolutely can take gas. That is a well-known and accepted way of checking things. There we go, that is a short introduction to Construction Simulator. Those are the first few tutorial jobs. If you want to see more of this, drop a thumbs up. I'm keen to get my teeth into the game in between our FS22 gameplay. And if I can get a playmate to come and play with me on multiplayer, then I think that could be a whole lot of fun in its own right. Anyway, take care, join me and Ryan again next time for a bit of Construction Simulator action. See you soon, bye bye.